I'm breaking down the four biggest college football games this Saturday for you. Free plays with analysis coming up right now. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV. College football top 25 video for this Saturday, November the 9th, week 11 of the college football season. And there's just two true top 25 matchups, but I'm going to give you two bonus games as well here in just a moment. Games that are just a bit outside for making the top 25 rankings. So four big games for you with free plays and analysis coming up in this video. Let's start, though. The two true top 25 matchups are both top 15 matchups and both in the powerful SEC. And by the way, first time all season now, week 11, or after week 10, rather, we have the college football playoff rankings. So I am using those rankings here, and they're pretty much similar to the AP, although they do vary a little bit uh, for some teams within a spot or two. Uh, this one, if you look at the AP, has number two, Georgia, against number 16, Ole Miss. But of course, in the college football playoff rankings, it's number three, Georgia, against number 16, Ole Miss. So this is one of those situations in which the AP and the coaches poll both have Georgia number two. In fact, the coaches poll actually has a first place vote for Georgia. Oregon getting all the other first place votes, of course, in the AP and the coaches poll. But they're third in the playoff rankings. Ole Miss is 16th. But the key here is that Ole Miss at 7-2 and two cannot lose another game. They have to keep wanting to be in the uh, have a chance in that top 12. Whereas Georgia probably could drop a game and still have a chance. But it's a very important game for both teams. Let's look at the simulation. Of course, I do 10,000 simulations through my database for every FBS game every week. And on average, I've got Ole Miss winning this one by three and a half points. So I do think there is some value with Ole Miss as the home dog, especially at that key number of plus three or more. And I say that key number because some sports books, as we get closer to the weekend, have two and a half. Others have three. So it is a very key number. And this is a situation which the line is lower than just a week ago and definitely this summer. In fact, the look ahead line back in June at the Circa was Georgia minus seven. And just a week ago at DraftKings, bettable line was Georgia minus five. The reason it's a little bit lower, I mean, there's several reasons probably, but one of the main reasons is because this Ole Miss offense just looked incredible last week against Arkansas, putting up 63 points and over 690 yards of offense through for 562, and this is a really potent passing attack. Now, it is a step up in class against a good Georgia defense, but even when factoring the weaker opponents played for Ole Miss, uh, Ole Miss passing attack is still uh, nearly three yards per pass attempt better than average. Georgia is only about one yard per pass attempt better than average. So Ole Miss is the better offensive team in this game as a home dog. I think they can trade points here and can pull the upset. And once again, my simulation has them winning outright. So I like Ole Miss as a live home dog, especially at that key number of plus three or more. That's at 3.30 Eastern for you on ABC. Hey, your other SEC game is also on ABC at 7.30 Eastern. Right afterwards, you don't need to change the channel for over five or six hours on Saturday afternoon to watch the two biggest games in college football. And this is... Alabama against LSU. And now, once again, Alabama is 11th in the AP, 14th in the AP is LSU. And we look here, LSU is 15th in the playoff rankings, and Bama is 11th in the playoff rankings as well. So, once again, pretty similar to the AP poll, a slight difference on LSU's ranking. Uh, but here, this is a situation I think there's no question where I mentioned how maybe Georgia could pick up another loss and still be in the running. Neither one of these teams can. They're both 6-2 and two straight up. This is definitely a loser-leave-town matchup, in my opinion. And uh, it's going to go down to the wire. In fact, my simulation favors Alabama by about half a point. So we'll say pick them here. So similar to the other game I just broke down, I do think there's some value with LSU at plus three or more as a live home dog. And once again, a very good offensive home dog. You know, we always talk about defensive home dogs. I like offensive home dogs, especially if they're down by, you know, eight to ten points late. Sometimes can get that late touchdown when the defense goes into a little bit of a prevent. And LSU does throw the ball well this year. They move the ball well overall. Um, they're coming off the loss to Texas A&M. However, they do have the bye week. Um, I know Alabama has a bye as well. But I think the bye is going to serve LSU a little better after the loss. Some extra time to prepare as a home dog. Quality, good offensive home dogs off a bye is always on my short list. And my simulation likes it as well. Makes this game a pick em. And currently this line is around that key number of plus three. So once again, at plus three or more, I would lean towards another home dog here with LSU. Now, those are your two biggest college football games this week, your two true top 25 matchups. They both come in the SEC. Going to look at two more games that were just a bit outside from making the cut here in a moment. But a quick reminder, if you want my official best bets for this weekend, check out my page at wagertalk.com, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. And while you're there, special promo code, a three-day all-access sampler 
for just $49 this weekend with promo code STEVE3. Steve, the number three. Steve, three gets you three days and nights of all sports, college and pro football and college and pro basketball for just $49. And once again, that's a special discounted price. It's normally $69. You get it for just $49 with promo code Steve3. Now, I know we're talking football here. And yes, you'll get all my strong college and pro football best bets for this weekend. But you're also going to get three days and nights of college and pro basketball. And we've started this season on a 71% winning run in basketball so far. And it should be no surprise. Basketball is a great daily moneymaker. You know, baseball just finished up almost 100 units this year in baseball, and basketball does just as well. In fact, the NBA alone the last three years has won over 200 units. I was number one in college hoops a couple years ago and all-time profit leader in the NBA in the history of wager talks. So don't sleep on basketball. College and pro hoops are here. If you want to try out a three-day sampler, use promo code STEVE3 for just 49 Or if you're ready to take a serious long-term investment approach, I know so many of you have sat back week after week this season, this whole year, by the way, up over 170 units in all sports this calendar year, and there's still almost two more months to go. Now's the time. Lock in that true one-year investment with promo code SM365. That gets it down to about a dollar a play for every football, baseball, basketball, college, and pro best bet for the next 365 days and nights. Look, it doesn't matter which package you get. It could be a one-day, a three-day, a one-year Every client gets the exact same games I am personally using. I have one set of selections. They're my personal best bets. I'm very selective. And every client gets the exact same game I'm releasing that I'm personally using. I release to my clients each and every day. Once again, you can figure out which package works best for you. You don't have to decide right now. Go to my page. Check out the promo codes. You don't have to memorize them. They're all listed there with details. And you can also see the previous 20 best bets. They're recapped every day. You can click on any of them to read the analysis as well. And don't forget about the daily free play. I'm doing a lot of free play videos here. And by the way, if you're liking the free play videos, comment below. Let me know and I will keep them coming. Also, thumbs up, like this video. That's greatly appreciated. But also check out the daily free plays on my page. Not just for college and pro football this weekend, but throughout the week, daily free basketball plays now as well. So once again, a lot of content. Take your time. Check it out. But we're ready to get on board. Get either that three-day sampler or the one-year big boy and get my strong best bets for this weekend for both basketball and football. Steve Merrill wagertalk.com. Hey, get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. On the way out here, let's look at two additional, just a bit outside games that didn't make the top 25, but came close. You know, and I talked about how there's some differences between the the, uh, college football playoff rankings, which were released for the first time this week, and the AP top 25. And one of those teams is Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt is not ranked in the playoff rankings, but they're 24th in the AP poll and they're 25th ranked for the first time in the coaches poll. Now, what's interesting about this is I do think Vandy's a little bit overrated this season. And obviously the playoff rankings think that as well as they don't have them ranked, but the AP and the coaches poll do. So we'll see how this turns out, but uh, they're playing at home against South Carolina. And on the surface to see a team with a weaker record, South Carolina laying points on the road might seem strange. Currently about a four and a half point road favorite are the Gamecocks. Um, But it's not strange to me because my simulation favors South Carolina by six in this game. So I do think there actually is some value with South Carolina at minus four and a half. And I have no problem fading Vanderbilt. And look, the Commodores burnt us last week. We went two and one last Saturday in college football. The one miss was I played against them with Auburn. And it was a low scoring win for Vanderbilt. Impressive low scoring win. They've actually held their three of their last of four opponents to 14 points or less. Uh, But I still think it's fool's gold. This is a Vanderbilt defense Uh, That's been average at best this year, and I think it's a step up in class now against a good South Carolina team. Now, South Carolina's offense might look pretty average on the on the paper, but their defense is really strong, and Vandy's going to be slowed down in this game as they have been against some other opponents this year. Uh, South Carolina this season allowing less than 19 points a game, just four and a half yards per play. So once again, I simulate a six-point win for South Carolina. I would fade Vanderbilt here and lay the four and a half. Um, Once again, uh, Vandy is not in the college football top 25, but if they win this game, they most likely will be. All right, got one other game for you here. Now, Penn State is the sixth number six ranked team. Obviously, they're for real. Washington is not ranked, but the reason I want to talk about this game is for a couple quick reasons. First of all, Washington right now is like 31st if you're looking at the additional votes. If they pull the upset, I think they'll be ranked. I'm not going to call for the outright upset. In fact, my simulation favors Penn State by over 19 points in this game. But I wanted to talk about this game for a couple reasons. First of all, I don't just blindly use the simulation. Just like with my NFL Fade the Public video for this Sunday, we don't just blindly fade the public, right? We use it as a filter, as a starting point to the handicapping process. And while the simulation favors Penn State by almost six points more than the actual spread, I'd be very careful in this spot. Even though the line is only 13 and a half, it looks like a potential flat spot for Penn State uh, after the Ohio State loss last week. 
close loss, 20 to 13, could linger here. So I'd be careful. My simulation likes Penn State, but once again, I think the situational setup favors Washington. So I wanted to point that game out to you. And of course, Washington was one of our best bet winners last week, outright dog winner against USC as part of that 2-1 and one Saturday in college football. All right, that's a little bit of a deep dive for you in some additional games. Four biggest games, in my opinion, in college football. Comment below. Where do you agree or disagree with the simulation? Which games do you like this Saturday in college football? What are you playing? Let's learn and earn and win together here on Wager Talk TV. And be sure, once again, smash that like button. Click it. Keeps this content free here. It's always helpful. Click subscribe and click that bell as well when you subscribe because then you'll know when my NFL Fade, the public video, is ready for this Sunday's action. And once again, if you want to try a three-day sampler, three days and nights, college and pro football and basketball for just 49 bucks this weekend with promo code Steve3. Go get it right now, wagertalk.com. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, and you can get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Don't forget about those daily free plays on the page as well. Hey, follow me on social media, at Steve Merrill, 2Rs1L. You know the deal, at Steve Merrill, 2Rs1L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV. There's some more great free betting content coming up next.